The Ministry of Labor, Industry Relations and Employment Creation embarked on its annual Productivity Awareness Campaign Week yesterday. The campaign aims to raise awareness amongst the Namibian workforce and the general public about the advantages and significance of productivity. To shed more, I am now joined on the line by the development planner from the ministry, that is Kertu Kakonda. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Yes, good evening. Thank you. Please, uh, Kertu, could you provide an overview of uh, the purpose and objectives you know, of this annual Productivity Week? Okay, thank you for the question. Um, I'll start off by defining productivity. Uh, simply, productivity is doing things better today than yesterday and even better tomorrow. So with that definition, um, one would say uh, for me to be productive or for me to really have an aim of doing better today than what I did yesterday, I should put more um, effort no, and uh, strategize and to be innovative to just be uh, productive so this week we are actually celebrating um, an annual productivity week that is uh, that happens every year and the purpose for this is uh, mainly to create awareness on the importance of productivity because uh, in Namibia Mainly, people, we 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 uh, tend to confuse productivity with production, and that's why we want to educate and give more information as we can to the nation to promote this uh, term productivity. So it's a uh, it's to so the aim of the week is just to create awareness on productivity and to also just uh, alert the nation that we have this unit in the ministry where one can go and get all this uh, information and uh, tips on how to be productive. And talk to us about some of the activities and events that take place during the annual Productivity Week. Okay, for this um, year we decided we're going to uh, take it to a Rongo region uh, but first of all we know we normally have a, a launch day where our minister launched the week and we invite all social partners and uh, everybody at the event so we launch and we also have a theme so for this week we have a theme of uh, that states that a productive nation is a wealthy nation. That's the theme we will be going by. And the activities act, uh, that we it's lined up is actually just uh, disseminating information. So currently we are going to um, be situated at Arongo Business and Tourism Expo. That's where we are. We have a stand under our ministry where we're giving out uh, pamphlets, flyers, and posters for everybody. So we invite everybody to come. What are the key benefits or outcomes that the ministry wants to achieve, you know, through this uh, Productivity Week? And perhaps also talk to us about how you engage employers and employees alike um, to participate um, in the annual Productivity, productivity Week. Okay. Um, thank you very much for the question. Uh, the main the aim for the for the for the week is actually to as i said already is to uh, dis, uh give out information we want people to 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 know the benefits of uh being productive so one of it is uh informing your employers that once you put in your hundred percent if, for example, we have five employees in the company, if each of them gives one percent, that totals to a hundred percent. Then they all give their hundred percent, and at the end of the day, the company makes that hundred percent, which is going to now uh, add up into a total that is hundred percent, where we also now get to gain the benefit that is the company has maximized its resources. 
the outputs are more and at the end we as the employees we also have the benefits of our um, for example gains of salaries increase or whatever it is that the company has made because all of us have put in our hundred percent so that is the the benefits of just being productive as an individual and as a company as whole how does the ministry measure the success and impact of you know the annual productivity week care to um, currently we have uh, a platform on our social media where we put uh, post uh, videos and uh, uh, disseminate information on our facebook and in and, and instagram so uh, we looked uh, we look at the engagement and the likes and the views but we're still looking at more uh, ways to uh, measure the the impact because we still want to people to know and to just have that free um, invitation of coming to our ministry and getting information because this uh, productivity is for everybody it doesn't really matter where in your household in your company in your wherever it's at school everywhere so that's why we want whether it's a, child, a businessman a housekeeper a mother we want them to come on board we usually say productivity is everybody's business other than the sharing or disseminating of information what resources or the support does the ministry provide to employers and employees alike to enhance productivity during the week? Uh, uh, currently, the ministry only have uh, the, the information and, and uh, we normally invite them. Like when we, are not, when we do the first day of uh, uh, launching the week, we invite both parties to come on board and also share the ideas or we also now give them all the info that we have so they can take to the companies or to the employers employees so that's uh, currently all that we have at the moment Kertu, thank you so much for your time this evening and thank you for talking to us thank you so much that was Kertu Kakonda, development planner from the Ministry of Labor, Industrialization and Employment Creation, speaking to us on the annual Productivity Awareness Campaign Week uh, that launched again yesterday. When we come back, we speak to the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. Stay with us.